breaking. Welcome to today's headlines. No dialogue until Namdekano is released. I probably does. Lawyer tells Buari. No dialogue until Namdekano is released. IPOB leader's lawyer tells Buari. So my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, I greet you and stay tuned as I read today's news. Ejimakos comment is coming at a time the President Muhammad Buari's regime entered at the possibility of a political solution to Kano's issue. Aloy Ejimako, lawyer to the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Unamde Kanu, has said there would be no dialogue with the Nigerian government except the separatist leader regains his freedom. In a series of tweets on Friday, Ejema stated how former South African President Nelson Mandela was released from prison before apartheid ended. According to Ejema update today, I had a visitation with Onyedo in the company of my colleague. Barrister Ejiofo and his brother, Prince Imakanu. Our discussion centered primarily on the unfortunate episode in court yesterday and the next course of action. Stay tuned for the details. Dialogue Nobody can initiate any dialogue until Onyedo Kanu is released. This must be the first step. Because it is only Mazi Unamdekanu that has the words to lead any dialogue. The release of Mandela from prison was the first step in the dialogue that led to ending apartheid in South Africa. Eji Marcos' comment is coming at a time the President Muhammadu Buhari's regime entered at the possibility of a political solution to Kano's issue. The Attorney General of the Federation, AGF and Minister of Justice, Abu Bakr Malami, recently during an interview said a political solution on Kano and Yoruba Nation activist Sunday Igbo's case had not been ruled out and could still happen. He said the government was open to all kinds of considerations as part of effort to resolve the crisis surrounding separatist agitations around the country. Kano's next hearing in court comes up on 19th and 20th of January 2022. Aloy Ejimako, lawyer to the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, Unamde Kanu, has said there would be no dialogue with the Nigerian government except the separatist leader regains his freedom. In a series of tweets on Friday, Eji Makor stated our former South African president, Nelson Mandela, was released from prison before apartheid ended. According to Eji Makor, today I had a visitation with Onyedu in the company of my colleague, Barrister Eji Ofo, and his brother, Prince Imakanu. Our discussion centered primarily on the unfortunate episode in court yesterday and the next court of action. Stay tuned for the details.
dialogue. Nobody can initiate any dialogue until Oyedu Kano is released. This must be the first step because it is only MNK that has the words to lead any dialogue. The release of Mandela from prison was the first step in the dialogue that led to ending apartheid in South Africa. A Jamaica's comment is coming at a time. The president, Muhammad Bari regime, entered at the possibility of a political solution to Kano's issue. The Attorney General of the Federation, AGF and Minister of Justice, Abu Bakr Malami, recently during an interview, said a political solution on Kano and Yoruba Nation activists Sunday Ido's case had not been ruled out and could still happen. He said the government was open to all kinds of considerations as part of efforts to resolve the crisis surrounding separatist agitations around the country. Kano's next hearing in court comes up on 19th and 20th of January 2022. Eje Marcos' comment is coming at a time the president Muhammadu Buhari's regime entered at the possibility of a political solution to Kano's issue. So my dear listeners, finally, We've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thanks for listening to today's news.